Hey, it's your boy Crypto Expat back with another video. In this video, we're going to talk about Crypto Blades. And I want to say, wow, this game is absolutely exploded. I had a couple of people comment, hey, check out Crypto Blades. Crypto, check out Crypto Blades. This was on my, my DeFi pet video. So I took a look at it and I've been playing it for a couple of days. Couple of days, beautiful. So I want to go through what I've learned. Also, make sure you stick right to the end because I'm going to give you some information that I think is going to make this game moon, right? So let's roll that intro and let's get into the video. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for coming back. If you like this content, hit that subscribe button and that bell notification. So when I upload my latest vids, you can get notified immediately. So as you can see here, it says here, uh, Crypto Blades is now a Binance most valuable builder. I'll explain that in a second. Um, it's ranked number one on DAP Radar. Number one in transaction on all smart chains, 100,000 total users and 1 million followers across social media. So when I first took a look at this, I thought this game was pretty boring. I didn't quite understand like what was so special about it until I started playing it. Okay, so when I started playing it, I quickly discovered why everyone is uh, flocking to this game. So when you first start, you can recruit a character for 1.7322 skill. And this is uh, just how much it costs. Okay, so it's kind of, when I first saw this, I didn't understand what recruit character means. It basically means you need to pay 1.7322 skill uh, for this character. I thought, hey, great, I'm going to get 1.27322 skill for getting this character. No, you will get one skill upon recruiting the first character, one skill. Now, it used to be five, but they've stopped that uh, about uh, less than 48 hours ago. So now it's only one skill. So skill is obviously the native token. And as you can see, currently it's $81.60. So I've been playing it for about three days. And when I first started playing it, Skill was not obviously $78, it was uh, more like $30. So as you can see, this huge rise, um, and I've been tracking the wallets too, the wallets have been going up, like the holders. So let's just go and have a look at uh, the my account. So I'm not going to go in depth on this because there's obviously, you know, other tutorials out there, but basically it's it's really it's really simple. And that's I, I think that this is what gives has made this game really popular it's just really simple to understand so what you do is you rec like you'll have this little button on the right hand side i can't see it because i've already bought four characters and you can buy these characters right when you buy these characters they each have different uh xp and strength and um when you fight other or battle other characters uh you can either win or lose and when you win you will win skill you will actually win skill. All right. So then, what you got to do is you got to pair it up with uh, a weapon. So then you go along at the top here is this blacksmith, and then you can buy more weapons. You can forge. All right. Obviously, I've already started this game, and I didn't really know much of it when I first started. But if I was to start again, what I would actually do is I would actually go to the marketplace and then browse the characters. Now they didn't they didn't have this marketplace ready. Uh, it was actually it was work it was there, but it wasn't working. But now. In the last what 24 hours it's now working so here you are in my opinion you're better off buying these characters here because they've already got like uh xp and they've already got like some of them are like level one these are level one and you can get like uh like level let's see so you can get a level eight only for 1.59 skill and it's already level eight so that's like and look at the xp it's like it's, this would take you like days, if not weeks, to get to this level, to get this character. And you can only buy it for 1.59 skill. Alternatively, you can sell your characters here as well. But if you just buy it like directly from here, you'll see a button on the right-hand side here to recruit. You can't see it mine because I've already used my four. But it's actually going to be more, it's more expensive and they're going to start at level zero. So 
yeah, if I was to start again, I would just buy them from the marketplace already leveled up and already with with, it, with XP. It, the reason why is you're going to just earn more XP when you fight. So what you do is you get a weapon. I've already bought a weapon. You need to spend some skills. There's forge skill to get another weapon. You start off with one. I bought three weapons. Then I bought more characters. So for having more characters, is you can battle more, basically earn more money. Now, I've only got four characters, so I can battle... Uh, four times uh, about between five uh, between five to seven times a day the reason being is because every time you, you you battle you use about 40 xp and one xp takes five minutes to to replenish so it takes about three and a half hours before you can do the next battle so at the moment i've got 1.6 skill at the moment i'm earning about 1.2 skill a day at the moment at this current price and it's fluctuating now because it's now back up to $81. I'm making about $97 a day currently from this game. And I've only been playing it for about four days. Now, you can't, I mean, you can withdraw, but they're going to hit you with a 15% tax. And every day, the tax 1% is uh, reduced. All right. But you can withdraw if you want. I could withdraw this now. I'd only get about 1.2 skill, which is pretty good. Still pretty good, right? So let's go and battle. I'll show you how to battle. It's very easy. You just click on the character. And when you buy, uh, when you battle, you, you want to use the same uh, weapon, right? So here I'm like a this little tree thing. Okay. And then when I go to combat, I want to choose a weapon. You want to use a weapon that's got the same. So here this earth, I think it's all earth. So I can use either this one or this weapon. I'm only going to use this weapon here. So this has got multiples, multiples. It's got water and it's got... Uh, the earth and if you if you forge weapons together you'll get more power in the one weapon so here what i do now is see so th this is it here fire earth lightning water all right what i discovered was it's best to just win the game like you don't want to kind of chance it so i'll look when i when i look at these characters i look at the lowest xp so the lowest one out of all these is this one here 1837 i don't care about I just want to get the win because when I get the win, I get free skill, right? So you have to pay gas fee, okay? I'll explain this gas fee why that's important in a second. So now I've got one. I should have 1.62 actually. I'll just record that and I write that down. I should have just done that before. And I just won. What did I just win? I won zero zero point. 047697. So that's what I just won in skill. So let's just go and have a look at what that's worth. There we go. There. I just got $3.88 from just clicking a couple of buttons. So what I'll do is, uh, because I've got four characters, I'm going to go do these three more and hopefully I can get wins. You don't get a win all the time. So let's just go and do this now and let's just see how much I can get. So I'll click on this one. This is the Earth. So then I'll just go combat and then I'll go, I'll pick the same. Well, actually, yeah, I'll pick the same weapon. Then I come down here. I'm going to pick the lowest XP because I want a guaranteed win, right? So I'm going to pick this one here. This is the lowest power. Okay, here I just, I won again. Okay, so add that. Okay, so I won that battle as well. Again, I'm picking all the the lowest XP because I want a guaranteed, well, not guaranteed win, but I'm most likely to win anyway. So go back, and this is my last one here. Let's click on that. Combat. And again, I won 0 0.03. So that's more in the bag. So based off this, uh, if I add all these together, I won't add them all together because they're probably... It'll just take a lot of time. I'm just going to take the average of, say, that one there. So that's about $3.79. Uh, let's just make that $3.50, okay, just to lowball it. So $3.50, $3.50 times 4, because I just had 4 battles, $14. So there's $14. Now I can do this, like if I stay up 24-7, I could do it about 7 times a day. But I'm not, obviously you need to sleep, right? Probably could do it six times a day. 
Yeah, about eighty four dollars. Eighty four dollars. It just depends on the price as well. Okay. Yeah, eighty. So that's about eighty four dollars a day, ninety dollars a day, and uh, that's currently how much I'm earning. Um, you know, based off um, these current uh, levels. All right. So obviously, once the level goes up, I believe. Well, I'm just assuming. Once your XP goes up, once your level goes up, you'll just earn more. All right. Now, the that used to pay like 0 0.8 then it dropped it to 0 0.4 so the amount of wins the amount that you're winning is is getting less obviously but the price of the coin is going up so you're getting less skill per battle but you're also earning more because it's worth more so so that's basically the game it's really simple um it's really simple to understand you just get the character and you get you match it with the weapon and then you fight and you do this four five six seven times a day depends on if you want to get no sleep now if you want to withdraw you get taxed whatever the tax rate there it goes down one percent less every day that's the basic gist of it obviously there's more to it you can use a marketplace you can stake as well all right so you can stake i've showed you basically that so i'll just keep on leveling up all right there's a couple of things I want to talk about which are really also important for the actual game itself because, you know, when you get into these um, blockchain games, you don't want them to crash and burn, right? The um, the gameplay has a lot to do with it. That's why Axie Infinity and My DeFi Pet have been really successful because people, uh, they um, produce these pets, they breed them, they nurture them. You know, it's a, there's a whole caring type of thing to it. This is different. This is... Uh, you know, this is more game this is more like cards there's no real gameplay you know you just click buttons and you win or you lose pretty much and, but the beauty about this game is you can earn every day you can earn more skill and you can literally liquidate this straight away and flip it to bnb if you want to and people are doing that see you can see this is going up and down because people every day people are coming in and they're um, they're earning their um skill from the game and then just selling it right to bnb because they don't know how far this game will go if you do some more research on the crypto blades uh, game obviously you can discover the tokenomics it's only a 48 million market cap so it's really really early and there's only 1 million tokens the circulating supply is 603,000 so that tells you that over 60 percent of the tokens are already out there in supply this is absolutely incredible because when you look at Axie Infinity there's like the supply is like 270 million now if you look at my D5 pet, it's all 100 million, right? If you look at this game, it's only 1 million and already 60% of the supply is out. So it's just simple supply and demand, right? The more people that come into this game, there's uh, already so many coins out there, all right? And whatever's left to be uh, minted or to go out in the uh, ecosystem, there's soon going to be no, like, there's already 60% used. It's like Bitcoin, right? There's only, like, three million or so three and a half million bitcoin to be mined so that means everyone has to fight over the rest well it's the same with this being such a low supply i mean i really if the growth continues i really see this as just literally just going to the moon what's very impressive is the transactions all right look at them just coming in there literally every second and also if you go and look at the holders, I've been tracking the holders couple of days. the last couple of days and they've been increasing by about 5,000 per day. But one of the guys in our Patreon group, uh, Neil, says the number of skill holders on 19th of July, which is only five days ago, four days ago, was 34,000. Today it's 104,000. So daily increase of 17,500 holders on average per day. So, wow, that is incredible growth. Right now, the growth of this game is absolutely electric, right? And that's and that's kind of like why it's like number one, number one, number one. So what's also very important is Binance have got this, uh, what they call MVB, or Most Valuable Builder Program. And this is an accelerator program, and it incentivizes and it rewards winners of projects in the Binance Smart Chain, right? CZ just wants to keep on growing the Binance Smart Chain, so just, uh, Binance ecosystem, so it just takes over, right? And by uh, assisting and helping um, these current projects, uh, it will give them more money and it will grow the whole ecosystem. Why this is important is because they're giving away like a $10,000 grant, um, you know, a bunch of things that the finalists will get. 
So these are the 25 finalists. So this is out of 400 projects. The last uh, 20 finalists, which is like phase two, is these projects here. Okay, it lists them. Crypto Blades, GMR Finance, I've never heard of that one. You know, I'll, list, I'll put a list, uh, a link to this article below. My DeFi Pet, Bunny Park, Mobox, Yoshi. You know, and there's a bunch of them from Fairland. You know, so these are the 20 finalists. So why is this important? Is because you know once they um, if they win this grant, they're going to get ten thousand dollars, which is nothing. But most importantly, you know they have a uh, high possibility of listing on Binance, and that's going to be the game changer. So that's why I was talking about um, you know, and I talked about this in my Patreon group extensively. But what's also important, and this is what Neil also brought up, so I want to say uh, thanks, Neil, and good analysis. Basically, he said the official account of Binance shares in the total of 3,150, the first four are PancakeSwap version 1 and 2, Deploy a Lottery, and the fifth is Crypto Blades. Now, here is the interesting thing about gas fees accumulating since last year. But Skill has done this since the last two months. Actually, only this month has made 7,450. 13 BNB in gas. So I hope everyone has got the point now. No YouTuber influencers telling you this and how important Crypto Blades is to the BSC ecosystem. This is how your analysis is done. And then he's put a link to the um, leaderboard. So I thought that was just a great piece of information. Uh, and it's like, you know, when you look at these projects, don't look at the hype, look at the data. So if we go and click this link, and this is the gas fees leaderboard, okay? This is what he's talking about. And these are all the contracts of all the top uh, tokens and the gas. So look at the gas. So gas is BNB. This is what gas is producing. They're, they're paying. This is what's costing, all right? So uh, if you look, and this top one here, can anyone have a guess? I mean, it's pretty obvious, right? It's BNB, okay? Obviously, it's it's the token, native token of the whole ecosystem is BNB. And this is at 34,412 BNB for the month. But if you scroll down here to the second most, uh, the second most ranked, does anyone know what this is? It's Crypto Blades. So Crypto Blades is basically the second most gas fee uh, rich, all right? What this means is that this is really important because if this gets listed on Binance, this is gonna explode this growth and it'll probably double the gas fees, right? So more transactions, um, more fees, and Binance is gonna scoop up more fees on their uh, exchange and it's gonna make more people are going to be using more gas for BNB. It's going to make BNB, in the long run, more more uh, more valuable. Okay, that's why they've got this program because they want to build, keep on building out this ecosystem. So more and more and more projects launch, they all use BNB. BNB gets bigger. So based off this information with this gas fee, like Binance didn't list Crypto Blades on Binance, they would be shooting themselves in the foot, literally. Because it has the gas fee volume and it's it's already got the uh, I mean it's only a young project. There's only 74 million market cap according to Pootcoin. I know those stats are different for uh, CoinGecko. I probably tend to believe Pootcoin, but I'm thinking, you know what, Crypto Blades maybe they might just wait till it gets to a little bit more in volume. But uh, it's certainly got the data and the, the, the data suggests that the amount of users. And the amount of gas that these guys are using, this is going to be a huge money maker for Binance if they list it. Now let's just talk about some risks on it because obviously, you know, everything is a risk. Right now with this project, if you go have a look at the gameplay, I would say this is probably the biggest risk because uh, apart from this, there's not really much um, that, you know, is going to happen after this. Uh, I need to uh, look more into... The game, uh, maybe they've got um, new things coming and have a look at their roadmap. And as far as the game goes at the moment, it's just buying these and then uh, leveling these up and, and battling, right? That's probably my 
biggest concern is the, the gameplay. Right now, the amount of people that are coming into uh, Crypto Blades is like crazy. And because of the tokenomics, it's probably so now there's one, there's like another thousand users, another thousand holders since I've been doing this video. So that's how much, that's how many people are coming into this game. It's just absolutely crazy right now. I think what's the biggest risk is if you buy this coin, and obviously it's like these yield farms, right? They just crash and burn. But I don't think that this is going to crash and burn uh, too soon simply because of the tokenomics and simply because just the simplicity of the game. It's so simple to use and you can literally earn free skill. That's the biggest thing with this game. You literally just battle and you win free skill. Okay? And it's so easy to do. And, that, and, and, and I think that's why it's just, this game has just taken off. But the tokenomics suggests that this is just the very beginning of the game. Because, you know, there's only, like I said, there's only a million of these freaking skill tokens. It's not in the hundred million. And according to uh, CoinGecko, 60% of that supply is out. So what's going to happen when this gets to 70% or 80%? Supply and demand. Everyone's going to be fighting for it. Everyone's going to want to buy it. But there's limited quantities out there. What's going to happen to the price? Simple supply and demand. It's only going to go up. Where do I think the price could go in uh, the next three months? Well, it all depends on the growth, right? So now we're seeing... Uh, what, uh, 106,000 addresses? If this continues to go up, and this goes up to like 300,000, it's going to slow down at some point. It's not going to keep on going up like this at this rate. But, you know, you, these games take time. Axie Infinity is over a year old. My DeFi Pet is only new, less than six months. So this game is like, it's only relatively new. I think it's only like a couple of months old or, or less. I don't know how old this game is, but it's still very new. So, you know, you got to give these things time. But in three months' time, if this gets to, say, 300,000 users or holders, every time someone comes on board, they got to spend skill, right, to, to get these characters so then they can earn passive income, right? I think that this is massive in uh, a lot of these Asian countries, like especially like Philippines, because Axie Infinity is massive in the Philippines, and say, so is my dear flat pet. And I think a lot of people in the Philippines are jumping on this, right, because it's like free money, right? So if you're in the Philippines and you're playing this game, let me know, comment below, Is there? do you have a big community? How many people are um, playing this game in the Philippines? I reckon thousands, literally thousands. Because right now I'm only making like, uh, what, 90 bucks a day. Think about that in Philippine wages. What, I'm just guessing what, it's a week's wage? They can do this in a day, just playing a game. Clicking a couple of buttons. So, I think in a couple, I think in like, three months this could get to uh in base of the tokenomics i still think it's very early days with this thing you know i think this thing is going to go to um double triple its price in quadruple its price but the biggest thing i talked about before was this mvb pr um, program if this wins this gets the ten thousand dollar grant but most importantly at some point in time is announced that it's going to get listed on Binance. I mean, right now at this point in time, it's leading. Okay. It's pretty much leading. If this gets listed on Binance, it's game over. All right. This is going to moon period. You know, we could see a 300, $500 token. That's just my thoughts on it. Obviously not financial advice. You guys need to do your own research. I'll put all the links below so you can do some more analysis on this. And make your own decision whether this is something that you want to uh, invest in. And as always, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button, the bell notification. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Are you new to crypto and DeFi? You're not sure how to navigate to the scams and keep away from the sharks trying to steal your crypto. This space can be very daunting for newbies. That's why we created 100xcryptoacademy.com. This is not just a course on DeFi, yield farming, and investing but a real community of like-minded crypto enthusiasts who believe crypto is the key to financial freedom. You'll get 50 plus HD on-demand videos, ongoing research analysis and pre-screened, ICO and pre-sales, four weekly webinars per month with live Q&A, private access to our exclusive forum, and our vibrant Telegram group for live chat and updates. All for a low monthly investment. Check out our Patreon at 100xcryptoacademy.com.